the main principles in martial arts is the idea of being aware of your environment. Growing up in the martial arts, one of the things you see all the time, I remember like uh, you're playing uh, a game as a child with throwing the ball, dodgeball, moving around, and or you, let's say you're just doing practicing technique and sometimes you roll into your partner or you do a kick into someone. And that was like one of the biggest sins growing up, right? You do not run into people. Like what kind of ninja are you? Are you gonna be a ninja sneaking into the castle, boing, bumping stuff? And growing up in it, it was so funny because at some point it became like unconscious for me where I was so aware of the environment and then I would start getting mad at my girlfriends. I'm talking about way back in time. Where, you know, like way back, like 15 years ago or so. I would get mad if they would bump into something. I would, what are you, you don't watch yourself. Because when it comes to real self-defense, it starts with an awareness. yourself like you see how I'm talking right now this is confidence confidence means like you believe in yourself you get what I'm saying yeah. yeah this is a big deal a big deal a big deal the biggest deal maybe because if you have confidence you can do anything right you believe in yourself you can do anything so right now is an opportunity and, and I'm, I'm teaching you because obviously your yellow belt you get your black belt you'll know exactly what I'm talking about so this time when the instructor calls you you're gonna do this. Uh, he says, Hawk, watch this. And, and you're just learning, so we're gonna try it a few times to get it. He calls you, you go like this. Yes, sir! And you walk up, boom, confidence. And you face them like this. Now that's gonna be like your acting, kind of like an acting job, so you have the actress. But you'll see you feel different. And everybody here, watch how she does it. And then you're gonna do it, and I'm gonna have you do it again, I'm gonna have you do it again until you get comfortable, right? Because there's a big difference if, let's say, let's say I was a, uh, a white belt, and the instructor said, come out, I, I might do this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but if I was a black belt and I did that, you'd go, hmm, something doesn't make sense with this guy. Right? So let's try it. You're gonna act as if you're a black belt. Okay? Act as if you're a black belt. Let's try it. He's gonna say it, try this. You just say, yes, sir. That's just, an, that's just confidence, right? Yes, sir. No problem. Okay, try it. Go. Ah, oh, come in. Yes, sir. Very nice. Confidently walk up, shoulders back. Yeah, very nice. Now, see where you are? Step forward a little bit more into their space. You're like, hey, I own this place right now. <laughs> you get that? You're like, hey, I'm here. Okay, now, let's see what he does. Go ahead. So, it's not hitting. That, that's like, that is like you missed. You missed a lot. You gotta use your eyes, you gotta use your ears, your nose. And your nose, like you're walking to your car, it's nighttime, and you smell cigarette smoke. And you look around, and there's nobody there. That tells you someone was just recently smoking. Are they hiding behind the car? Are they hiding behind the wall? True self-defense is awareness and then the techniques, right? Now this is important because so many people in the day, as you, as you go around your day, you'll see people just walking around like um, zombied out, right? The Walking Dead, the real Walking Dead. It's not in the TV show, it's right outside. Just go to the mall, watch The Walking Dead every day. Okay, the real TV show. Being aware of your environment is one of the things that you, you learn in the martial arts. Once again, it's not like someone's telling you all the time. It's that you become aware of the environment because that's how you learn to survive. Okay? And I think if this one little lesson can take everybody so far in their life. So, let's try, yeah, try again, try again. Let's go. Right. Ah, coming in. Yes, sir. Yes, do it good. That's better. Now do it one more time. Do it one more time. Now. A lot of times, it happens to everybody. It happens to adults too, okay? We start feeling like, I wonder what people are gonna think about me. Do you ever think that? Do you ever think that? You think that, right? As you get older, it becomes more. Do you ever think that? Yeah. Exactly, right? But you know what I'm not thinking right now? I don't care. 
I'm not thinking, I wonder what, imagine if I was, what is it thinking about me? Maybe I should keep it down. Maybe I'll. <laughs> <laughs> So another thing you learn as a black belt is you don't care what people think when you're doing the right thing, right? So are you doing something right or wrong right now? Right. Okay, so then it doesn't matter. If you're doing something right, if you're doing something right and someone judges you wrong, it doesn't matter because you're still doing something right, right? Yeah. Maybe they're wrong for judging you because you're doing something right. So you start to, that's confidence again. You believe in yourself. Sometimes, for example, let's say you're doing a business negotiation. I mean, I'm involved in many businesses. As you walk up, you have to be aware of where people are sitting, of what, how they're dressed, of their emotions, their face, do they look happy? Do they have pens and pencils and music and coffee? Do they look tired? All that gets processed in a second by someone who's been training martial arts for a long time. See, it makes you a very powerful psychologist because uh, a enormous part of martial arts is, is psychology. But let, let me stay on, on track for this thing, okay? And, and the idea is just being aware. Now, animals know this all the time. To live in the jungle, you have to have all your senses open. The martial arts taught me growing up that you have to use your senses all the time. And not only that, you start to create like a sphere around you. Okay, have you ever had this where someone's been staring at you or you were in high school maybe and you, you catch it and you turn? You stare at someone long enough. What is that? Like, like, what is this thing that all of us have experienced? What is this intuition? As Manu, my teacher, would say, his pictures on the outside. Intuition, he defined as direct knowingness. What is this direct knowingness that you just know? The phone rings, you know it's going to be bad news. You've had that shit before. You, go, uh, you just know. Middle class. Ready? Go. Hey! Go. Hey! When you have to yell from your stomach, let it out. And go. Hey! Okay, now let's have her say go a few times. Okay, you lead the class. You're gonna say go a few times, and they're gonna follow you. Okay, go for it. Go. Hey! Go. Hey! Good. Now, if you're ever gonna lead people, you have to have more energy than everybody. Energy is important. Okay. If you have energy, you you can work. If you have no energy, you're tired. Okay, mom. No energy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't be like her. <laughs> okay, so now they're pretty loud and she's older, right? So you're gonna have, even though she's older, you're still teaching her. I teach older people all the time. So you're gonna have to. Uh, fix your phone, dude. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you're gonna have to be louder and more energetic when you say go. So you're going go, they're going ha, go, ha. You gotta be like go. Well, I go. I get it. She's leaving. Okay, try it. Loud, go. Go. Now ask yourself, that's my teacher Manu, something you always ask me, how far can you take it? Because you're taking it here right now, you need to take it here, okay? How far can you take it? Try again, go. Go! Hey! What I mean by how far can you take is how loud can you get? How much more energy can you get it? Okay, how much more energy can you have? Go. Go! Hey! That was a good one. The martial artist fine tunes this instrument because you're going to have to see the punch before it happens. You get to the point where you start to anticipate what your opponent's about to do and it's too fast to even think you just know it's a knowingness and this is one of those things that again growing up at martial arts or the kids that are here i was just watching them do dodgeball and that that's what the thought triggered in my mind is that they're learning the spacing of their body they're learning movement and they're learning how to read not only the person throwing the ball they can't run into each other so all of this is opening up their senses and, their, and i think that if you just if you just did that, if you just became more aware, if you open your fucking eyes, excuse my language, I try not to cuss on, on the monk life one, but if you open your eyes, then you would see more of what is happening and you'd be less, what, a victim in your life? You'd be less surprised. It's something I love to tell my girlfriends. I'm like, I have a surprise for the idiot that tries to surprise me. <laughs> by trying to throw a sucker punch or something at me. It, I, I'm not going to be surprised. I'm just not. I'm always, always aware of it. I mean, man, I could go in the middle of the night. It's happened before. We thought somebody was in the door, and you ask Electra if you ever talked to her. It took about a second from the door, from my bed, to crouch by the door. The lights were on. I remember I turned off lights with a knife in hand. About a second. 
how? How did I move so fast? Well, I didn't think about it. That's what training martial arts does, right? If you're like an EMT, you see someone, you go right into CPR. You don't, right? And that's what a professional martial art does. You're always ready. So always be ready, whether it's in business, relationships. Don't be surprised. It's the punch you don't see that knocks you out, not the one you see, right? And it's the betrayal that you don't see that gets you in your life, right? You're betrayed by a husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, right? Family member. It's the one you don't suspect. So this teaches you how to pay attention, use your intuition, and be able to do that. And I love the martial arts for that.